Take a look at this uh, young college student. I don't know how old she is. Maybe she's a college she looks student. She's super young. Super young. And she looks uh, very distressed as she's being arrested. She has no idea what she's protesting. She's only heard surface level things. She is now being arrested. And the response from conservatives and the police is exactly what the cult was hoping for. And I will explain very simply. She is now angry and scared, not understanding why she's being arrested or what she did wrong. She was told that she was fighting for the good guys. The police came and arrested her. Well, how can that be? She's a good guy. Well, it's because the police must be bad guys, right? With that fear and anger, when she gets out of jail, and she will overnight, and it'll be a slap on the wrist, they will then go to her. And not only will they say, see, look what the police do. The police are bad. You didn't even do anything wrong. You're fighting for justice. Aren't the police evil? They'll direct her fear and anger, which they instigated, into her siding with them once more. And then they will start to show her all of the posts from people on the right insulting her and laughing at her for being scared and crying, acting as though she had any idea what was going on. And they'll say, see, look how evil the right is. They're making fun of you while you were doing the right thing. That is how the cult recruits. So when they're storming campus, when you look at the comparison between the Summer of Love, Black Lives Matter, Occupy Wall Street, and the anti-Israel stuff, and you're like, wow, it sure is very similar. It's all just cult building. There's no moral issue they care about. There's a funny meme I saw where it's, you know, the meme of the military guy putting his arms out, protecting the kid. It's the military guy going like this. And it's like protesters. And then the kid in the bed says the Middle East and the bombs and the knives are still falling on the kid because the guy's nowhere near the kid. (laughs) And that's a good point. And then you wonder, what are they doing? What is their goal? Their goal is to recruit people into their uh, into their cult who view these who who view this country as morally corrupt and and uh, uh, evil and wrong. That woman will now become an anti-police activist more so than she really was or ever was. We, we've acknowledged on this show that most of these people have no idea what they're protesting. We then see a woman like this getting arrested who's scared and has no idea what's going on. The response should be not to make fun of her, but to be like, these people are tricking you mm. to get you arrested, to make you angry, to entrench you in a world that will cause you harm. We don't want that for you. I don't think we on this show are influential nearly enough to actually have that message for someone like her. But maybe those who listen might realize this because I got to tell you, you know, even Ali London saying she appears to realize she made a big mistake as she's, she uh, as she verges close to tears. Even that, like imagine you are walking down the street and some guy says, hey, do you want to march for uh, freedom? And you go, yeah. And you start marching down the street. Next thing you know, you're getting arrested and you're freaking out. And all of these people are now laughing at you and pointing their fingers at you. You'd, you'd be mad at them. You'd be stressed. You'd be scared. You'd be like, why are they attacking me? Why are they insulting me? That's how they make the cult bigger. 